And now with more on the death of Fidel Castro, Pamela Falk, CBS News foreign affairs analyst, who had face-to-face -face meetings with Castro when he was Cuban president. Pam, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. L let's start with how do you think this is likely to change things? We've got obviously a change in the U.S. administration, yes. as Errol Barnett talked about. How is this going to change things in Cuba? Well, Raul Castro has been ruling Cuba since 2008 when Fidel Castro retired and has made some reforms, including the entree to the opening of diplomatic relations with the Obama administration in 2015. But it's unlikely to change very in a very big way, and especially in ways that people are really looking for, like human rights changes. Mm -hmm. So that has more to do with the system in Cuba. And they have already been reacting to the election of President-elect Trump. And so uh, the, the idea here is Castro laid the, gr the framework for being a defiant dictator, a demagogue, also a charismatic leader, and a Soviet puppet all rolled into one. Yeah. And that's the cult in a certain sense. It's the overview of the way people have seen him. And otherwise, they've opened the door and forced people out. What about the incoming Trump administration? We played some tape. Donald Trump's statements right. are different than where this current administration stands on policy. Do you expect ties to change? I, at, for the moment, there may be some rolling back of some of the expansion that President Obama did in terms of travel of Americans. But when you look at the trajectory of the 10 presidents, yeah. Yeah. I, the Republicans have done quite a bit. In fact, Ronald Reagan was the one who opened the door with nuclear relations and uh, trade packs and the coastal arrangements. So there was a lot done during Republican administrations, partly because there's always the interest in trade. But what's interesting is uh, there was a time in 1998 when the Orlando Hernandez, the, the Yankee brothers, Mar uh, um, Levon and er uh, Orlando Hernandez, wanted to go out. And it was the uh, Castro administration. I mean, Castro himself yeah. was appealed to by the Pope. And uh, he immediately said, I mean, I'm sorry, I asked the Pope. It was <laughs> Cardinal O'Connor, who was the Vatican, um, and the Cardinal O'Connor who actually said yes. And they were let, ready to let them out before President Clinton was ready to let them in. So I think sometimes you see changes and you may very well see some interest. Pre uh, President-elect Trump has just said if he gets a better deal, he'll renegotiate. All right. Pamela Falk, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Absolutely. We'll have much more on the death of Fidel Castro ahead in our next hour.